hey guys so in this video I'm going to discuss about I got some questions on the previous video and the questions is like can we monitor the multiple folders uh, can we can we create a log for the process name okay so I'm going to show you the demo how to monitor the multiple folders how to get the process name and process ID and how we can make sure that this one is going to be work as a uh, service okay so let's get into the program now i am writing a program in vs code say that it is a monitor folders dot py so here i am importing the some modules and after that we are going to configure the logging so that's a base config so inside the base config we have the different predefined attributes for example level so so we need to set the level here i'm setting the level with the logging dot info constant and comma and after that the format to see this the formatting so basically i need the date in the below say that the percentile so sorry the percentile and that is uh, asc time this is a predefined attribute for the locking and we are just formatting this one and after that we need to print the message percentile so inside this message this is also predefined attribute so we are actually printing the predefined attributes here right the percentile then uh, the process and close this and so yeah this is a process name okay so last one is the s yeah we are done so this is just formatting and add uh, date format is equal to and we can mention your percentile okay this is extra i'm just adding it if you don't want then leave it the percentile m and iphone percentile d and uh, iphone percentile h iphone percentile m okay uh, iphone percentile the last one is a second so basically the year month day and hours minutes and seconds okay so we are done this and after this what I'm going to do right I'm going to create two objects so one is for the observer another one is for the logging handler right so let me create the first uh, object for this so event underscore handler will do this and also we are going to create an object for the observers so observers equal to then observe right so basically this is a class which we are creating an object so we are actually creating an object here right so moving to the next I'm going to create separate function uh, where we are going to actually schedule the uh, uh, job okay to monitor the uh, basically I'm going to create a function here uh, which is going to be used to monitor the two folders okay so what we can do now now already I have created the two folders the cat and dog so I have to mention those paths here the folder one is equal to and cat path and dog path so copy the path so either you can take the relative path and uh, and full path and that's because since you already created the folders in the same so not an issue you can take the relative path also but I'm taking the complete path just make sure that tomorrow it won't be in any issue the folder 2 is equal to and keeping the path here and this is a dog path so you can give forward slash and if you find anything is created we can you can keep it there okay so I have created the two folders okay now the basic the main code comes now okay so what I'm going to do right I'm going to call these the monitor multiple folders so for example I'm going to use the main method call and uh, you can use the main method call say that if underscore name underscore underscore equal to equal to underscore underscore main method so basically we are checking the main method and after that we can make a call to this monitor multiple folders and the, 
the problem here you can if it is one folder i can make a call to this one but since we are using the two folders or like you can go you can give more than that that in this case either we can go with the threading concepts or like multi-processing so in this example i am taking the multi-processing you can try with the threading concepts and let me know if you are facing any issues in the comment box okay so now i'm going to import the multi processing which is inbuilt module you don't need to go and you don't need to do worry about installing this from the either any third party so it is by default comes with the python itself so import and multi-processing okay so i am just imported the multi-processing and we can give that name here the multi-processing sorry okay multi-processing dot then we can create a two threads or like a two processors here in the sense i can say p1 and p2 so what i'm going to do right so multi-processing dot process and in this process i am passing the what is my target so target is here like function you are making a call to this function this function is expecting the folder name so definitely we are going to pass that one as well so we can give this args is equal sorry not args equal to and we can mention the what is the uh, argument name so basically we are passing the a folder name here this this is the folder name so basically i'm passing the folder name folder name is first one is the folder one okay so let me do it now so so i'm passing the folder name here and uh, after that similarly so this is the uh, one processor so or we can say process one and then process two okay so just creating this I'm just going to keep it here to make you very easy process two is equal to same yeah and this is the folder two not the folder one yeah two folders so what i'm going to do right i'm going to start this process okay so process one dot start and the process two dot start okay so start okay process one dot start and process two dot start okay so i'm done with this coding and we'll see if there is any issues we are going to face it here or something we can figure out okay so yeah i'm going to run and execute this code and we'll see one by one if there is any issues but before going to that i'm going to put some condition here i mean it's not condition so before going to that to see the output i want to uh, bring and show you that how many processes are running here so to see the process and we can use the uh, import os and uh, so if you want to get the pids and all the pids we can get it here so use the print statement of then we can mention this os dot uh, get pid so basically it is a get pid is uh, uh, available function in the voice module so i'm going to use it and run this and we'll see yeah uh, that type error multiple folders take one position argument but 38 were given okay so what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna fix this issue let's take one position argument okay folder name see the output i got the three processor names and but the problem is i got some exception is it's saying that there is a 38 uh, takes one position argument but you are given more than that so in that case what we can do right the problem is that the arguments it you, sh you should send it as like a tuple here right so folder one comma and this is also like argument is a tuple i'm just going to write the same here okay the code now i'm executing this code let's see this is there any errors yeah there is no any errors we got the uh, some output like uh, the process there are three process are here 417347 okay let's create uh, any file here then we'll see if there is any issues or something we can fix it i'm creating the file called test.txt and okay so we got some exception okay it's related to the message okay fine i have to go and check in the messages here okay 
Hmm, it's because of the percental percentile. I'm not given the S. So that's something I just fixed it So we can close this again execute this code Okay, fine. There is a different the process IDs are created. Okay, the file is created now I'm going to create new file in the dog saying that uh, uh, Doc test file. Okay, so doc test uh, dot txt. Yeah, perfectly. All right. I'm able to see the output uh, so it's saying that created file and uh, then process ID and process to and process to something like this if you want to change this uh, So better to keep this message at the end of the message or like end of the log message so I'm going to clear this and executing this code you can see that there are uh, three process IDs are created and uh, now what I'm going to do right I'm going to create two different files into these two different folders first in cat I'm creating the folder for example here test2.txt and you can see that it's saying that the process one and created file and modified directory that is a cat and inside that test2.txt and similarly I'm going to create a file in the dog saying the doc folder doc test 2.txt now you can see that it is also giving the same but process is different here the process 2 and created file is this one and modified directory is this one the id is also different i mean process id is different and date and time is printed right for example i am modifying something in this .txt file saying that hello and uh, execute I mean control save and then um, you can see that we are getting the message called modified file right in the doc.txt now I'm going to update this test.txt and uh, you can see this hello one and uh, all logs are getting updated continuously okay that's how it works basically we actually use the multiprocessing here uh, to monitor the two folders you can try with the uh, threads and you comment in the below and if you are facing any issues let me know I, uh, I can figure out and we'll see that how it goes okay so thank you so much uh, for watching this video I will come up with the more videos thank you